Okay, girls. So today we will continue our chapter seven. Uh, sorry, chapter six. That one is a linear equation. So for the linear equation, come to the most into, into important part that we that one that we have to solve the linear equation in one variable. Okay. Later we will uh, see how to solve the problem in for the uh, linear equation in one variable. So, so okay. Now we move to our notes. So this is the note. So please do as what our teacher already arranged. The first thing is the solution of the linear equation is the numerical value that satisfies the equation so I will give you one example okay like for example when we are in the primary school teacher will give you this type of the question to test your equality which means what are the number that I should add to the two in order to get a five so for the primary students they will think backwards or there were things in the try and error like for example if I add with one what will happen if I add with two what will happen then they will uh, do the backtracking method also like for example five minus two then how much I will get for this blank okay and so on so later we will see three methods that is important for you okay so this is what are we going to do for today okay how to think how to solve the problem okay the first one is a trial and improvement method so this is the linear equation that we will give during the exam 2x plus 1 equals to 7 so girls in the previous lesson we already discussed how we determine this is the linear equation like for example for this is the linear equation I must have three characteristics the first one I must have the symbol of equality which means the equal to second I must have only one variables in my equation which means the x third I must only make sure the x or the variables only have the power of 1 power of 1 if I didn't get square or the cube and so on so this is power of 1 okay that's how I determine this is a linear equation in one variable means I only have one variables one type of the variable here that which is x okay so we move to the method try and improvement method which means trial and error lah. okay for example the first one I want to try number one which means I substitute saya menggantikan x as a one so I calculate oh, sorry as I calculate I found out my answer is not equal to seven okay so one is not my answer second one maybe I will try number two or I will try the larger number because since the 7 is a larger number okay so I try like that and then I calculate and I found out they are equal so my answer x is equal to 7 okay this is how we move to this method okay the second one girls actually please pay attention the second one is the important methods that I need all of you to uh, conquer it okay which means application of the equality concept is very useful when we come to the upper level mathematics when you go further study in the mathematics then every linear equation or the uh, how to say the graph okay or the in inside the MS subject we are more to the equality concept okay we got one small notes for our equality concept which is the numbers on the left hand side must always equal to the right hand side the number of the left hand side must equal to the number of the right hand side just like just now what are the numbers plus two equals to five so the number of the left hand side must equal to the right hand side so right hand side is a five left hand side only have two so i should plus another three in order to make it five okay so they are both equal in both side okay understand so in here I'm using the same linear equation so suppose I also will have x sorry uh, here girl sorry a mistake here is x equals to 3 
okay so suppose I will get my x equals to 3 also okay now I'm trying okay first try I will use marker pen black and also the red colored for you to see how the things is go okay 2x plus 1 minus 1 and equals to 7 minus 1 what is the objective that I place the minus 1 okay I want to place the minus 1 because I want to make the left hand side only left with the x okay which means I want the x value isn't it so I have to eliminate Elevate means saya uh, buangkan, hapuskan benda-benda yang berlebihan. Siapa yang berlebihan dekat sini? 2 and also the addition 1. So, in order to cancel that operation, I have to use the opposite operation. So, addition opposite is a subtraction. So, I have to use the subtraction in order to cancel the 1. Faham tak pelajar? Kerana tambah, Kata lawan je lah tolak Saya tak nak tambah satu Saya nak hilangkan dia Saya tak boleh guna Pemadam untuk padam je kan So Secara matematik Saya guna tolak satu Tolak nilai yang sama Untuk hapuskan benda itu Equality Will make The right hand side Also have to do the same action Okay Kesamaan menyebabkan sebelah kanan juga akan melibatkan dalam operasi yang sama iaitu tolak satu. So, I continue. 2x equals to 6. Here, already cancel 1. So, I only have 2x. Here, minus. So, I will have my 6. After that, 2x actually is born by multiplication. 2x. 2x maksudnya 2 darab x ok so 2x is born by multiplication so opposite is a division divide and then you will have the x equals to 3 so you will get your same answer as the try and improvement method ok ok girls so now we move to our third method third method is a backtracking method this method actually will make some of the students confused because when they are forward, they can. But when ask them to backwards, they are like mm, a bit confused. So, how you have to overcome method B? Okay, actually method B is the method that I have to, uh, in, uh, how to say, how, ask you to do a lot of the exercise. Okay, so this A and C just for your knowledge only okay use the working backwards strategy how to use the backward working uh, backwards strategy for example this is my initial number okay this is my final number okay initial benda, nombor yang saya mula nombor yang saya mula itu akhirnya saya tambah tolak darab bahagi dan dapat 7 so final number that's why backwards tracking i have to think like that first think forward x multiple with 2 plus 1 then i will have my 7 backwards tracking which means 7 i have to minus 1 i have to divide 2 then i will get my x initial number so i have to do my operation here 7 minus 1 is 6 Okay, after that, 6 divided by 2, I will get 3. So, x is equal to 3. At last, I will have my question finished solving by state, uh, state x is the uh, 3. Okay, so girls, everything here, I, uh, teacher will snap and then share in the group. So, please complete your notebook. So, later, you will have some questions, okay? Normally, mostly, I will explain by using the equality concept. Then after that, we will see how to solve the long problems by using the equality uh, concept also. Okay? We will see you in the next video.